move to the next recipe. Chalupas, right? Chalupa. Oh, another one of my favorites. For chalupas, you'll need one 16-ounce can fat-free refried beans, shredded lettuce, diced tomatoes, shredded vegan cheese, sliced black olives, optional, and tostados. Larry, chalupa is one of your favorite too. Hey Amen. They're all my favorite. Chalupas are <laughs> great too. I used to like to eat these all the time. Like uh, since we became vegan vegetarian, when you go to a restaurant, usually you order chalupas. Right. Yeah. What I just don't eat the cheese. I eat the, just the beans, beans and the lettuce and tomatoes. Tomatoes, and then they're pretty good. Very good. Yeah. 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 And so I'm going to show you step by step in case you are not familiar about the Mexican dishes. And like we mentioned about long, how long, seven years, a bunch of seven years ago, yeah. we used to live in San Antonio, Texas for how long? 18 years. 18 years. And then they are. Favorite food, their favorite food is the Mexican dishes and tamale yes. factories every corner. Amen. And my husband, he's born and raised in San Antonio. So even though he's an American man, but he loves Mexican dishes. Amen. So being I'm from Korea, but still, <laughs> I learned how to yes. fix all She didn't even know what they were until we yeah. got in San Antonio. Yeah. Then she got accustomed to it, and she started eating it. And, yeah, and really she was like so it. kind and so nice. She made it for me, so I Thank appreciate you. that. Thank you. I am kind and nice Amen. to you all the time. Amen. <laughs> OK, first, what you need to do, uh, I'm going to have the fire on, okay. and uh, you need a little bit of oil here, okay? And uh, this one I found uh, fat-free refried beans. And yes. now these days, if you want to have a healthy food, and uh, here is a uh, fat-free. So I'm going to go ahead and add. Or you can make your own, right? You can, if you have a favorite bean dishes, and yeah. all you need to do is put it in the a uh, food processor, yeah, then Amen. make your refried bean. You can use any type of bean, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Usually, honey, uh, they use the pinto, pinto beans. beans. And so I think I would like to recommend to use a pinto bean. But I guess if you like black beans or... Yeah. You can use something yeah, else. Yeah, I heard Probably that different. anything is like a black bean mm -hmm. and a black sesame seeds, uh, when you eat it, your... Hair? Hair, gray hair. Turn black. Turn black. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so we are in the middle age. Suddenly I can see gray hairs come out here and there. <laughs> so yeah. I'm trying on a sesame seed recipe, I mean diet right now. Every day I just blend it and drink it, black sesame seed. Amen. And it's actually like working. <laughs> oh, oh. Are beans, what are beans good for? Beans are uh, absolutely no fat. No fat. Whatsoever. Good. And very high in fiber uh -huh. and high in protein. Okay. So, you know, there are Mexican people, to call it Hispanic people, uh -huh. in their diet with the beans and rice, it is a perfect protein. Perfect protein. Yeah, with the beans and rice together. It contains calcium and iron and, and lower your blood pressure. And and uh, also lower your uh, cholesterol, cholesterol and the really benefit for the diabetes. Amen. Lower well. your blood sugar level. Yeah. See there, now it's getting nice and warm. Amen. And now we're going to turn this one off. Okay. And uh, you will need to shred it, lettuce. Yes. So let me go and shred it a little bit here. Lettuce is good as well. You got vitamins A, B, and yeah. B1, B2, C, and E. Amazing. Amazing, huh? Yeah. Lots of water. Lots of water. Yeah. I'll just... I like it because it's so crisp and fresh. Yeah, I like the romaine lettuce. Romaine lettuce? But That's... you like the iceberg. Yeah. So, honey, I will just about this one because you like Amen. iceberg <laughs> lettuce. Thank you. <laughs> She's always so nice. Oh, thank you, honey. <laughs> okay, this is a tomatoes, and you need to dice them. Okay, tomatoes very high in vitamin C. Vitamin C. Okay. And uh, high in fiber. Helps and to fight your immune system, immune build up the immune system. Yeah, huh? and also high in antioxidant, okay. which is fighting for cancer. Oh, wow. I think this is enough. Okay. okay? And uh, what I need to do from here, and this one, like I mentioned about the taco, 
This is a homemade uh, vegan cheese. Yes. Uh, you can get these recipes from my website, uh, gyeongcw.com. Amen. Yeah, gyeongc, there you can see gyeongcw.com. Click on recipe and uh, slicing cheese recipe is the same one I did. It's great, really good when you yes, get it. Yes, a lot of people have called and said that they just can't believe how it's easy to slice and tastes and, really, really good. And, and the people are so used to eating regular cheese, they yes. really love this cheese recipe. Mm -hmm. My daughter is like that. Yeah, yeah. She's hooked on the regular cheese, but she yeah. can eat this and really doesn't see much difference. So That's right. Tastes much different, so it's good. And this is to to tostados. Tostados. <laughs> <laughs> tostados. You can get it from any grocery store. Made with what they're made out of? Made out of just corn. Cornmeal. Yeah. Cornmeal and water. Water, salt, little bit and of little salt. oil, huh? Yeah, that's all it is. Amen. And then you just put it on the warm refry bean. It's like a taco. It's, so it seems like it's just one meal thing. One you meal. got uh, yeah. all the uh, nutrition right You can here. add more things to this. Yeah, if you want, if you like the black olives, you can sure. put the black olives. Camera guy here, what a ghost said. <laughs> he likes black olives. His wife likes puts black olives even on, on ice cream. cream. <laughs> wow. And this is how you <coughs> put it on here. Amen. Okay, I'm gonna go and make some more. Okay. Yeah. Because I know I need to feed a Suryevin family for dinner. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna go and. Four's make. not even getting me started. So I'm gonna continue. They're good. Make this one here. I like them because they're so crispy, so fresh. And very simple to make. Very simple. Yeah, but very simple and very nutritious mm -hmm. for you. And, and when you don't have time, probably you can even make this one. Sure. Look at how pretty it is. I'm going to go and make some more. Okay. Okay. All right. Larry, mm -hmm. I think we received some letters from okay. the viewer. Would you like to share that? Sure, we got some more letters here. here. And again, these letters are really, really touches our hearts. And it says here, hello, dear, dear sister Kyung. Thank you so much for your, the cookbooks. I have tried some of the recipes. The mashed potatoes your way, they taste much better. And the chicken gluten is excellent. The turkey-like patties were even so good, even cold. Not Each dish I make from your cookbooks are easy to make. I'm I thank God for you, Kyung, that he shines through your face, glows. You are truly blessed, mightily, and Larry is a good husband. Praise <laughs> God. Thank you very much. I pray for you both. It's Marie. She's from Canada. Okay. Thank you, Marie. We yeah. really appreciate the letter, and we love you. Thank you, Marie, for your prayers. Amen. This one here is uh, from Louise. She's from Australia. 3BN is reaching the world, friends. It says, Dear Kyung, hello, I just had to write to tell you that the walnut meatballs were a huge success. My guests really loved them, and they wanted to see your cookbooks. They loved it all, actually. I also made the scalloped potatoes and the banana and date pudding. Talk about easy, and you're right. They were very delicious. Mm -hmm. Thank you so very much for your ministry. Amen. Your sister in Jesus, Louise. Amen. Thank you, Louise. Yeah. 3ABN does touch, touch many people and touch yeah. many lives. And 3ABN is reaching the world. Amen, Amen for 3ABN. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for Amen. sharing letters. If you are blessed by the programs, we would love to hear from sure. you. And uh, thank you for taking your time. Thank, thank you for taking your time to write us a letter because... I'm not the person, even though I'm blessed by the programs, I don't call them, I don't write them. <laughs> because, so it is a lot of courage to do so. Yeah, Amen. So thank you.